Is it time to buy or sell Dell Technologies stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Dell Technologies. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, 13th, June 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since June 6, 2024, our system has ranked Dell Technologies as a sell candidate, giving it a score of negative 2.30. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Surprisingly, the stock has performed better than our system predicted, with a gain of 0.79%. This translates to an average return of 0.13% per day since it was listed as a sell candidate. The stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $132.42 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 26.13% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 23.69% and 73.69%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 106.44% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 69.94% and 180.34%. This translates to a price range of $229.45 to $378.52 after a year. Our latest daily update for Dell Technologies includes the headline, Green Day on Thursday for Dell Technologies, Inc. The Dell Technologies, Inc. stock price gained 2.44% on the last trading day, Thursday, 13th June 2024, rising from $131.81 to $135.02. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 3.33% from a day low at $131.80 to a day high of $136.19. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a negative 20.54% loss for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign. And in total, 5 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 16 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.15 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $179.70 and the lowest price was $48.74. Currently, the price is 24.86%, or $44.68, below the 52-week high of $179.70, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst ratings on Friday, May 31, 2024, it was reported that Cowan & Co. gave Dell a hold grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, May 29, 2024, it was reported that Bank of America Securities gave Dell a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, May 28, 2024, it was reported that Loop Capital Markets gave Dell a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, May 21, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave Dell a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, May 21, 2024, it was reported that Barclays gave Dell a underweight grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Dell Technologies stock a general sell rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong sell and price to book as strong sell. 
For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Dell Technologies. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Dell Technologies Inc. stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, there is a general sell signal in the stock, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $138.34. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $133.22. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, May 29, 2024, and so far it has fallen negative 24.66%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal, pivots, sell signal 12 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal 21 days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal two days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal seven days ago, the relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal five days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal 11 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Dell Technologies Dell Technologies, Inc. finds support from accumulated volume at $132.03, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $4.39 between high and low, or 3.33%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.96%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Dell Technologies, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal PE ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2024 is expected on August 29, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.72. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Dell Technologies. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Dell Technologies is at $135.76. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Dell Technologies, encounters its first support level at $132.03. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Dell Technologies from multiple analyst sources is sell. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Dell Michael S., who bought and sold 1 million 310,601 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 22.744. Overall, insiders purchased 7,514,752 shares 
and sold 11,969,460 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Dell Technologies stock a good buy? Dell Technologies Inc. holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, June 14th, we expect Dell Technologies to open down negative 68.3 cents and start trading at $134.34. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.